This is an Icon Ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. Um, today, on the most solemn day of the year, Good Friday, the day that we commemorate when the Lord laid down his life for us. But he didn't just die, he suffered. And over the next few minutes, we're going to reflect on that, reflect on his suffering. What does it mean that Jesus suffered? How did he suffer? Sometimes we think and we look at Jesus on the cross, but there is more to the passion than what happened on the cross. Now the cross embraces everything in the cross and through the cross. We have our freedom. We have the fullness of Christ's sacrifice. But his pain, his sacrifice, was falling, was the scourging, was everything else that came with it, the pain and the rejection. And we get to think about this today, to contemplate on this today. Together with Augie, Alyssa and Justine, we're going to have a time to reflect on this, to give our hearts to the Lord. I invite you now to find a sacred space, a, a quiet place, to reflect on what God has done for you and what God is doing in your life today. So let us just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, to enlighten us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we invite you as we begin this time of prayer, as we begin a time of turning our hearts to the Lord. We love you and we're grateful that you died on the cross for us. And we ask your blessing upon us as we begin this time of prayer again in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Welcome to this beautiful time of prayer that we're about to share together on this Good Friday. My name is Alyssa from the Icon Ministry team, and I'm here today joined with Augie and Justine, who some of you might know from the Catholic Influencers podcast. Today, we're going to be praying through the Stations of the Cross. Now, this Stations of the Cross, it's called Everyone's Way of the Cross by Clarence Ensler. And we've kind of made a little bit of our own adaptation of the Stations of the Cross. So it's our hope and it's our prayer that you'll join us in this beautiful time together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Christ speaks. These 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you, and I am I, yet we are truly one, one Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. Jesus, my loving Savior, I come before you with a humble heart, acknowledging the mistakes that I've made. Your sacrifice shows me the depth of God's love, and for that, I'm truly sorry for my sins. And as I reflect on your journey of suffering, I place my trust in your mercy. Please forgive me and grant me the strength to walk a path of righteousness. With determination, I commit to living a life free from sin. Amen. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last The first station, Jesus is condemned. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and seated him on the judge's bench in the place called Stone Pavement, in Hebrew, Gabbatha. It was preparation day for the Passover, and it was about noon. And he said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. Christ speaks. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my father's will. 
Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me, and so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to Pilate's rule because this is my Father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I place over you? Jesus, you sacrificed everything out of obedience. Well, for me, obedience often feels like a simple act of will, yet it remains a challenge for me to submit. Open my eyes to recognize that it's you whom I ultimately obey through those in authority over me. Help me to fully grasp that it is indeed you, Lord, whom I serve in all things. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Christ speaks, This cross... This chunk of tree is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life. And yet my Father chose them, too, for you. Receive them from his hand. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. Jesus, my compassionate Lord, each day I embrace my daily, daily challenges and trials. I welcome the routine of my days, the discomforts, the seasons, extremes, along with my frustrations, my worries, and my setbacks. Help me to remember that as I carry my cross, I'm also sharing in yours. Even though my burden may seem small compared to yours, you carry all of my struggles, except for a fraction, in exchange. Thank you for bearing my load alongside me. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Oh, how sad and sore distress was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one? The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. Christ speaks. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone becomes a man, too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in his weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my other self, you must also accept without complaint your human frailties. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I wholeheartedly embrace my shortcomings, my frustrations and my fluctuations in mood. I accept my physical discomforts, mental challenges and spiritual imperfections as they are your chosen path for me. These limitations of my human nature, I willingly endure. 
Grant me the grace to find peace within my struggles, yet empower me to persist in pursuing you. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Christ speaks. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or even enters her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. Jesus, I hear your message clearly. It's often more challenging to witness the pain of those we love rather than endure our own. To follow you and carry my cross, I must also stand by and witness the suffering of my loved ones, their heartaches, their illnesses and their sorrows. And I must allow them to see mine as well. I hold on to the belief that for those who you love, all things ultimately come together for good. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Is there one who would not weep? Whelmed in misery so deep, Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country. And after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. Christ speaks. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so the legionnaires make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as with your very hand the cross's awful weight that crushes me. Lord, help me to understand that every single act of service, whether it's wiping a dish, picking up something from the floor, helping a child or showing courtesy to others in traffic or at the store, whether it's feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, teaching the ignorant, or lending a helping hand in any way to anyone, these actions make me like Simon. And the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you, Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by by your your holy cross cross, you have redeemed redeemed the world. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond that of mortals. Christ speaks. Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work when tensions rise, on playgrounds, in slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails, wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, what you ask is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice, and I'm weak. Please give me strength, and don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me and act in me and love in me, and not only in me, but in all of us, so that together we may reflect not your suffering face, but your radiant glory here on earth. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As As it it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and ever shall be, a world world without without end. Amen. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child. All with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by by your your holy cross cross, you have redeemed redeemed the world. Yet it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted. Christ speaks. This seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to preserve in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail, and you will think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Give me your courage, Lord. When failure weighs me down and I feel utterly alone, reach out your hand to lift me up. I understand that I must not give up, but continue to do what is right. Yet I need your help, Lord. On my own, I'm powerless. With you, however, I can accomplish anything you ask of me. I am willing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, Saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he sent The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by your your holy cross cross, you you have have redeemed redeemed the the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Christ speaks. How often had I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind. My dear Jesus, your boundless compassion during your suffering is beyond compare. 
Lord, I ask for your guidance and assistance in learning from your example. When I feel tempted to react sharply to those who mock me, misunderstand me, or unknowingly disrupt my peace, help me to restrain my words. Let gentleness be my armor. Lord, mold me into a reflection of your kindness. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. O thou Mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with thine accord. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Come to me, all you who labour and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. Christ speaks. Completely drained of strength, I lie, collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet my will is mine, and so is yours. Know this, my other self, your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. Lord, as I witness your brief moments of respite, followed by your determined rise and continued journey, I'm reminded that I possess my own will. When I'm drained of all strength and burdened by guilt and self-condemnation, feeling as though I'm held captive by the weight of my mistakes, protect me from the despair that consumed Judas. Save me from my hopelessness. Lord, let me never believe that any sin of mine is beyond the reach of your love. Regardless of my past, grant me the grace to start again. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, a world without, without end. Amen. Amen. Make me feel as Thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he refused to drink. After they crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Christ speaks. Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped. The cross, my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet who has ever been so rich, possessing nothing? I own all, my Father's love. If you, too, would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. My Lord, I surrender to you everything I have and even more, my very self. Detach me from the desire for recognition, status, and riches. Remove any envy I harbor towards my neighbor who may possess more than I do. Free me from the grip of pride and my inclination to elevate myself above others. Guide me to humble myself and embrace the lowest position. Lord, may I possess a spirit of poverty so that I may be abundantly filled with you. 
Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Saviour crucified. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Christ speaks. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then, with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through, and pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm, and agony again explodes. Then raising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast, too. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? I hear and now accept for all my life whatever sickness, torment, or agony that might come. I reverently accept each cross that comes my way. Blessed be the cross that allows me to join you as a co-redeemer of humanity. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain. Who for me in torment died. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Christ speaks. The cross becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother, there is your son. I thirst, it is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet, and every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then, when I have borne enough, have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not for a moment would I prolong my life. I offer you my death for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God, my God, do not forsake us. We know not what we do. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee, 
Mourning him who mourned for me All the days that I may live The 13th station Jesus is taken down from the cross We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Now there was a virtuous and righteous man named Joseph who, though he was a member of the council, had not consented to their plan of action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea and was awaiting the kingdom of God. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. After he had taken the body down, he wrapped it in a linen cloth. Christ speaks. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete but not my mother's and not yours, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love and grief will come to you. In your bereavements, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary's sharing in my Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. I beg you, Lord, grant me the strength to embrace the inevitable separations that must come from friends who go away, my children leaving home, and most of all, my loved ones when you call them to yourself. Then give me the grace to say, as it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home, I vow to your most holy will. And even if I had the power to revive them with a single word against your will, I would not speak. Grant them eternal joy in your presence. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray. All I ask of thee to give. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Christ speaks, So ends my mortal life, but now another life begins for Mary and for Magdalene, for Peter for John, and for you. My life's work is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in, day out. From this time forth, be my apostle, victim, saint. Lord, you know that while my spirit is willing, my flesh is weak. The lessons you couldn't fully convey, the burdens you couldn't solely carry, and the works of love you could not do in your short life on earth, allow me to fulfill them through your strength. But I am nothing, Lord. Help me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray pray for for us sinners, sinners, now and at the the hour of our our death. death. Amen. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. Lord, we have come to the end of this sorrowful path which you trod for us. You know us, our weaknesses and the paths which we have taken. Give us the strength to pick up our cross daily and to follow faithfully, for you are the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Christ speaks. 
I told you at the start, my other self, my life was not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it. A simple fiat. This is all it takes. A breathing in your heart. I will it, Lord. So seek me not in the far off places. I am close at hand. Your workbench, office, kitchen. These are altars where you offer love. And I am with you there. Go now. Take up your cross with your life and complete your way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We just contemplated, meditated on the 14 stations of the cross. The Lord, what he did for us, and what he continues to do for us when we respond to that grace. Let's ask for his blessing, his peace. Let's ask for the strength to be able to serve the Lord. Today at 3 o'clock, we join again for a time of prayer, and we invite you to join us, to bring friends. If you can, go to Mass, go to the church, please do so. But if you're unable to do so, join us also on this channel at 3 p.m. But let's pray for God's blessing. So, Father God, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you died on the cross for us. We thank you, Lord, that you continue to work in our lives through the power of the cross. And we ask your peace, your blessing, your strength as we sit with you over the next few days, the tree the womb. And we ask your blessing, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of Icon Ministry partners and donors. Please go to iconministry.com forward slash support to make a donation. Icon Ministry wants to reach out to the Alpha Generation. Introducing MetaSaint, a revolutionary project where the hope and love of Christ meet the Metaverse generation. Did you know that the Roblox platform transcends mere gaming? It's a bustling digital universe with over 70 million users a day. This is an incredible opportunity to share the gospel with young people. Do your children or grandchildren play Roblox? Tell them to start playing MetaSaint, where they will have an interactive experience with the gospel like never before. As we pioneer this exciting new frontier of connection and community, we invite you to help us in this groundbreaking mission, our biggest project yet, to ensure that the digital spaces can become a place where all can encounter the transformative power of Christ. Together, let's bring the gospel to the metaverse. Visit metasaint.com to learn more.